all right what's up what's up my favorite people my soul fam uh, my name is Trinity and welcome to my channel all about the he Don't let nobody dim that light. I know that's right. All right. So, to my ride and dies. To my new subscribers. For my energy exchange tips. Uh, super chats. Super thanks. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Just remember that whatever you sow on this channel, you shall reap 10, 20, 100 fold right back at you. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. All right, on the flip side, looking good, smelling good, like I should, sitting on my throne, fully determined, right? Not letting people, places, and things stop, block, ain't having it. Can't stop, won't stop, and ain't gonna stop nothing up in here, right? It is so, so be it, and I shay and some more to be. All right, so we are honoring the sign of fire, bam, Sagittarius, bam, Leo, bam, Aries, and there it is. All right, so anybody that have Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo in their chart, this could resonate. Anybody that have any of those signs, oh, sun, moon, rising, and Venus specifically, but anywhere in your sign, it could resonate. Cross watchers dealing with any of them signs, it could resonate. Quite frankly, the way spirit is, is, is giving me these downloads and what the spirit is telling me is that anybody can click on any of my readings. Look at the, look at the, um, look at the um the label and it resonate with them and they can click on it and it'll resonate it's just gonna be like that we roll we get ready to roll into that so keep that in mind that if you look at you know see one of my readings and it's not your sign signs really don't matter because collectively spirit is taking me collectively as a whole getting ready to move in um in that energy and being able to resonate collectively it doesn't matter what sign all right anyway let's get keep it moving right <laughs> all right so like i said <laughs> well not like i said because you may not have seen any of the other readings but this week i asked spirit a question i asked spirit why is it why is it, uh, why do people, um, why are people triggered by the collective? Um, so I asked Spirit, why are people triggered by fire signs, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or cross watcher, vice versa, fit it in where it get in. And this is what Spirit gave me. People are triggered by you and fit you where you where you need to fit it is because you are you are a woman holding the bag. You are successful. You have the whole package. But at one time, okay, what I'm getting off of this that this particular person had a past and these people who are triggered they were uh, they identified you with your past they were you know they were your ride and dies in the past pretending like right they were um, connected you guys were friends you were lovers you were at whatever relationship but you were that right and in the past, you were with these people. You were on their level. They were on your level. Everybody was, everything was everything. 
And now at the present, at the moment, it's just like a switch went off. And now you've changed. Now at the beginning, they was upset, you know, they was thinking you was all that you was bougie what they could they was confused they couldn't understand why what happened what 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 was really going on right because you was one day you was with them and the next day they looked at you you was totally different see you came up you on the come up you glowed up not only glowed up looking you glowed up when i say glowed up in the in the interim of success abundance you got your hand in every aspect of your life and you are rolling with it you are controlling it you are dominating you are moving you are intimidated you are uh looking good smelling good like you should right but it's beyond that right you're not just looking good you about it right you are representing what it is to be real authentic and being in charge you ain't you don't got a glow you're not a glow up as it's in as in a in an effort to be uh thinking that you all of that and and you can't talk to people and you can't you are glowed up and you're relevant you are relevant to people that's on your level you are helping people you are being a role model for people you are standing tall speaking your truth you are not just a pretty face in a banking body you are business wise you are holding the bag right now right now you say holding the bag i ain't got no i ain't got it like that let me tell you something when i say holding the bag Holding the bag can be the favor of God on your life. You don't have to have material. You don't have to have money in your bank to be holding the bag. See, you got it where wherever you go, opportunities and doors open up. People want to give you things. That's holding the bag, right? And God will, God will place you in that type of environment first to see if you can handle it before the rest of it comes trickling down and your bank account aligns with all of the favor and all of the abundance that's on your life see god has to test you see you've already did the work but and been tested but when it comes to stuff like this and you have a call and you have a purpose and you have a destiny over your life people can flip and dip and go and, and flip out and and, and and go through another uh, uh uh another way in a minute so you have to be tested you have to show and reveal to god that you still gonna be true you still gonna be authentic you still gonna be you and you still gonna help and just because you got this money or just because you got this attention, this favor, these opportunities, you got people that want to collab with you. You got people that want to elevate you. You got these things that's upon your life, but you still trying to think of ways and you still trying to help people and you still trying to pray for people. You still trying to elevate people. You still trying to speak life over people. That is what God, that what is the most high God is trying to figure out. What are you going to do with these riches? What are you going to do with this money? What are you going to do with this attention? What are you going to do with these opportunities? Are you still going to be a blessing? Are you still going to speak life? Are you still going to be a role model? Are you still going to give him honor? Are you still going to do what you used to do which is be authentic and true to yourself and true to the most high god and true to your calling so people are triggered because you're not only authentic 
you not only are walking tall and speaking truth, you helping people. You didn't take these opportunities and you didn't take this, you didn't take where you standing right now and use and abuse it like they would. You taking it and you walking in it and you using each opportunity and each blessing like you should and like you're supposed to. Which adds more favor, more abundance. It brings down your spiritual inheritance. It brings down more and more and more blessings upon your life. And every time they see you, they see all of this, all these opportunities that you don't even see. Because they all in your business, all the, you all in their head. They looking at things and seeing things that you haven't even seen yet. You haven't even saw it like that. But they all in your head, all in their head with you and your opportunity, your bag, your attention, where things could be leading, where things could be going. What's the next thing for you? They already got it all twisted and manipulated in their mind and they're triggered. They're triggering their own self by minding your business instead of minding their own. So they're triggered because they won't lead your business to you and let you live your life. So they everything you do, they 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 gotta see about it. They gotta be about it. They gotta see everything, every little intricate, every little part that they, 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 they gotta see. And every time they gotta see, it they get triggered. Because at this point in the game, you're unstoppable. At this point in the game, all they can do is look. All they all they can do is talk. All they can do is, you know, try to figure things out. But there won't be no blocking. There won't be no stopping. There won't be none of that anymore. That's done with. Whomever you are, your faith, your determination, and your authenticity will carry you to the end. These people no longer have any, they have no, they, they don't have no control. They have, they can do black magic. They can do evil eye. All of that stuff will turn back to cinder instantly they can play you know games and play different things they can do all that they gonna do because at the end of the day you looking good smelling good like you should you large and in charge at on your own terms you're holding the bag you forever holding the bag you forever holding the bag because you got that mindset Here's, you got that crown. That crown is intact. You got, you sitting pretty. You got your spiritual animals all around you. Taking, taking uh, uh, all kind of negative energy and negative hits on your behalf. When people sending it, your, 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 spiritual, animal, your, spirit, your spiritual animals are taking the hits. It, ain't, it don't even touch you. You are a queen in the making. You are a king in the making. You're sitting on this throne and you're not to be played with. And people are triggered, beyond triggered, because they can't stop you. Only thing they can do is look. And they're trying with everything they got. It's trying to figure out the next part of the puzzle because they fi they figure that if they know what's going to happen, if they know what's going to happen, if they can piece it together, if they can see what's going to happen, it won't be so bad when it do happen. So they're trying to piece everything together. They're trying to see, uh, uh, pocket watch you and watch your money and watch your watch the attention and watch the opportunities, watch what you say and watch what you're putting out there. But what they fail to realize is that what's really going to happen, don't nobody know. Because, see, spirit holds 
the big the big the big surprise the big stuff don't nobody know spirit holds that because spirit is not gonna let you or anyone else and fit you where it get in and anybody else stop this big 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 opportunity this spiritual inheritance whatever this big thing is spirit is not gonna allow anybody to come in and to tamper with that and that's just all that is about that you in another bracket you don't look the same you don't talk the same you don't dress the same something in you but when people look at you from the past they think you bougie but you're not you're down to earth you're still the same you're down to earth you're still that loving caring person but your past is not your past you're pretty you you are letting go you've let go of the past and now you are taking that personality that you had you still have the same personality but a lot of the things and a lot of beliefs and a lot of things and that was holding you back and all of that stinking thinking all of that stuff is gone and now you are and let me put it out here i think it's taurus taurus had the counterpart of this so some of you could be dealing with an earth sign you could be dealing with the taurus um that's your counterpart so go check the Taurus reading out if you have not seen it, uh, because the Tor uh, because Taurus has the man holding the bag, right, holding that coin. So um, also this right here, the sun. See, this just confirms everything I said. The sun, the sun is the highest card the most positive card in the deck you can't trump the sun you can't downplay the sun even if the sun is in reverse it's still the most positive card right so not only are you holding the bag and you have favor and you have opportunities you have wisdom you have enlightenment you are a light worker you are um we already know about the light if you're on this channel you know about this light your light has is shining your um purpose and your destiny has a lot to do with your light and you've been shining your light for others you've been going through the uh going through the process of being a light worker the reason why you are in this position of success is because you never stopped no matter black magic, no matter uh, hating, no matter slander, no matter betrayal, no matter um, hurt, no matter whatever people wanted to do, you never did stop. And you kept the faith in who you are and you kept the faith and the positive uh, flow of things. You've kept the positive flow of things by giving it to other people giving your light, opening up, showing people who you are. And now it's your time. The end result is that you learned so much about you. You learned so much about your life. You learned so much about who you are. All because of the light. I always tell you, do not let people dim your light. Your light is your everything. You show the world who you are because through showing the world who you are, you're free. You're free. You're free to soar. You're free to, to, to learn. You're free. You're able to be who you are. You're able to sit in that truth. Can't nobody, can't nobody uh, uh, one up you or, or do anything. You, 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 you're, you're the truth. You're not hiding anything. No matter what people say, let them talk. You know the truth and spirit know the truth. And that's all that matters. People are going to try to slander and try to say you fake and you ain't real. Who cares? At the end of the day, they look like they look and you look like you look. The 
truth will always prevail. The truth will always prevail. So people are triggering you. Or people are triggered by you. It's because you're no longer stuck in that mess that they stuck in. They stuck. They stuck in that. You, you have left them. You have left that situation. You have elevated yourself. You have moved forward. And you are ready. You are ready. All right? So your spiritual message is this. Not only are you ready, though. Ready is not the right word. You have evolved. You are large. And you are in charge. You have glowed, glowed up and elevated. And you are moving and shaking towards your future. Your spiritual message is segment. Do I need to say more? When I say protected, you are protected fierceness then i say large and in charge then i say protected then i say that spiritual animal see you got the most fiercest she said destructive and rebuilding I, she's saying i wish you would whoever that's trying to come i wish you would i got something for you right so Segment. If you don't know about Segment, you need to go do your Google search because this is who's protecting you. This is your spiritual message. And she want to let you know loud and clear and without any hesitation that you are protected, especially when she's in charge. Bam, and there it is. And I'm this is has been your reading. Hit the comments, hit the emojis, thumbs up, thumbs down, just thumbs the channel. It helps the sister out. Share, 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 subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you need to subscribe, all right? Because we moving and shaking on this channel. I'm going before the throne on your behalf. If you are not uh, connected, if you're not subscribed, you won't be included. So it will behoove you to subscribe. Description box, have all the information there. Um, social media, personal readings are closed. Hit the notification bell. Um, if you always want to know what's on the channel, sending you love, sending you healing your way, Trinity is 